the Nigerian Medical Association has requested that candidates of um, the presidency COP23 and others are to be subjected uh, to psychiatric tests. Thank you very much for joining us. It is Serious Matters on NF TV. Please do share our videos with others. Like our videos, please, and drop your comment. Please make them simple and simple. The Nigerian Medical Association, NMA, has called for psychiatric evaluation of governorship and presidential candidates ahead of the 2023 general election. You see, I'm not the one that said it. All. <laughs> the professional body also said medical tests of the candidates would provide a comprehensive view of the state of the body system of those aspiring to hold political offices in the country. Uh, and if we could get a test that will show whether somebody, whether they are lying or, or not, whether they mean business or they don't mean business. Well, there had been calls for medical screening of candidates to determine their state of health, with many Nigerians arguing over the constitutionality or otherwise of such move. Of course, there had been, um, you know, calls, you know, for medical screening of our presidential candidates and also other candidates so that um, uh, we'll be sure that apart from the fact that somebody shows you know a, a, a quality and healthy state of mind is also healthy physically reasons why, why why you see some of our presidential candidates going to jog going to um, walk and doing some things just to show you that they are healthy well the chairman of the Ni national drug law enforcement agency agency brigadier general boba mawa retired stoked the controversy in april when he asked political parties to include drug testing, integrity tests, as part of the screening process for candidates. Speaking to the Punch in Abuja on Tuesday, the NMA president, Dr. Uche Ojina, listed the battery of tests that candidates should undergo to ascertain their state of health and fitness for office. I don't see anything wrong with this thing, no. seriously. I don't see anything wrong. I don't say I remember I wanted to get a job with that and they sent me to do pro, uh, compliant, compli uh, comprehensive medical tests that showed the x-ray of the chest and everything because the job I was going to do needed me to be sound and you know focused and so I did it and I got the job because I was healthy I'm healthy and so I don't see anything wrong it's just like you wanted to enter the university and you have not done all levels you know there's no way you can't jump the gunk well he said, simple medical checkups such as chest x ray, cardiac, medical um, cardiology, cardiography, um, abdominal ultrasound, urinalysis, kidney function test, functional test, liver function test, blood pressure, and blood glucose assessment will give one a comprehensive view of the state of the body system. Sadly, people applying to top level jobs like chief medical doctor or chief medical medical director in our public services are made to undergo this test, while those contesting for executive and legislative posts don't. We also want them to undergo psychiatric evaluation. This I shall. <laughs> Exhaustively, exhaustively evaluate the people's vine, uh, the people vying for the ultimate job in Nigeria, the NMA president added on how the test should be done. Regina said a professional body like the NMA could be charged with setting up uh, an independent panel to carry out the medical and psychiatric test. Well, setting it up is not the issue. The question is, uh, I hope uh, it will not be compromised. That's, that's another thing. If somebody just knows somebody there that will say, okay, just... Just go, don't worry. I can see some, something wrong with your brain, but don't worry. You know, you're my brother, you're my father's brother. So I can't, uncle, you are the one now, you know. And so when you're writing, when they are writing the report, you just say, you know, he's physically fit 100%, whereas something is you not know, because there has been a compromise or that. So, you know, quite a number of things come up as we look at this particular one. Drop your comments, just feel free to drop a comment. He also said the NMA could be given the responsibility of choosing an independent panel of body of people who are well known in those different fields to carry out the test because the problem is that if you allow a government agency like the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria or others, the government in power can influence it, which is what I just uh, mentioned now. So uh, we will provide a professional body to be given the responsibility of setting up a panel of renowned specialists in the necessary areas to carry out a clear survey and present the report to the Independent National Electoral Commission. Well, in this one where people, uh, somebody does not come to sign peace pack. Uh, they call for debates. Some people don't show up. Some people show up. Some persons come there to come and talk to talk at. So they trolling some persons and all of that. You know, we still don't know. 
<laughs> where we are heading to. Look at what is happening in the PDP, for instance. You know, uh, Tiku had thrown a jab at Wiki that he does not control the state. He's not in control uh, of the state. Uh, but then, you know, it would have been it would have been easy for him to say that if his party was the incumbent, if the if his party is the incumbent, it would have been easy for him to to say that. The NMA president noted that the medical and psychiatric tests should be made public. You know, we just know that oh, this man that wants to be governor is a mad fellow. <laughs> Or this man that is saying he wants to be president, you know, they will care at all, you know. But then, I don't know, I don't know how far this this uh, call will, will go. But then, he said, if a madman is about to be president, we should be we should we should be told that it's just the truth. That is just the truth. We we see a lot of things going on with those in power. You will realize that there is imbalance, you know. So I think the result should be made public. We have a right to know the state of health of whoever is run vying for an office when they are going to vie for a medical director and chief medical director of hospitals they do most of this test and those who will take the decision of choosing will see the results so people are going to be president uh, who are going to be president and they don't think that we should see their results we are the ones to make that decisions we should see their results ask if any candidate who is not medically mentally fit should be stopped from vying for an office he said it is our position that if you have a med mental problem or uh, a neurological problem or you have any organ damage that may be that may be treated or that may not be treated or uh, you are psychiatrically imbalanced you should not be allowed to lead you should be stopped we will make a we, 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 will you now make a madman your traditional ruler you will not well drop your comment make them simple and simple let us know what you feel about this particular um video video and call thank you very much for watching once again my name is Olukunle Ibrahim enjoy the rest of your day bye bye